Praise the Lord, Minister Paul from Northern California, and we bless the, the name of Jesus Christ. June 4th, 2014. Today's the day to release this video. 37 years ago, in sixth grade, the Lord showed me a dream that I have never forgotten. Yes, in sixth grade, I'm now 50 years old. I'll just share the dream because it's real hard. I have a picture of a of a, a a young man walking on ground, and then the ground in front of him seems to be opening up. This was how my dream started. Yes, 37 years ago, I was walking through a field, and these earthquakes began to happen everywhere. And, and let me mention this about earthquakes. We we're watching these uh, mid-level three points uh, earthquakes occur random places 77 minutes ago, 3.8 Arkansas, around the same time, Yellowstone popped off at 3.4, and then over here there was a 3.7 in Italy, and then it came down here to a 3.4 in Chile, all within the, the same hour, within minutes apart, and then now uh, Hawaii. Um, so we're monitoring this area because what the Lord has showed me is that these threes and four earthquakes in various places uh, will, will become fours and fives and sixes. They will increase in size, keeping up this, uh, this amount of them, and they will increase in magnitude um, and ultimately become sixes and sevens. And, uh, and then a major one will strike. And uh, so just be watching, ready for that. <clears throat> so these earthquakes as I'm walking through this field. Now remember, I'm in sixth grade in my dream too. These earthquakes began to strike everywhere. And I looked down just like this. The earth had opened up kind of, and flame shot out. And... I noticed that the whole ground was opening up everywhere, almost like a Grand Canyon, but not that big. It would open up and uh, I saw flames coming out and, and, and it was at this point that I realized because I started to fall forward and an angel held me in place and put me back on solid ground. And I was at that exact moment that I realized that the people falling in were perishing to hell. To hell. <sighs> wow, this is hard. And so as I, as I turned to the northwest to begin walking in a, a safer uh, location, I saw all of these fireballs um, began to fall everywhere and then one of them fell um, on a small mountain and immediately caught the mountain on fire. It was really dry. The grass and earth was really dry. And this memory is like coming to life in my spirit right now. This dream from 37 years ago, I feel the Holy Spirit just stirring it back to life. I've never forgotten this video. This is not new to my channel. I've mentioned it at least three times in the last two years. And so I see this mountain on fire and the fire, uh, 100 foot flames, 200 foot flames are so high as it begins to roar down all sides of the mountain from the north, south, east and west that it's going to come down and consume the cities and towns and people beneath it. And there is no fire equipment big enough or powerful enough to put out just this one fire. And they were setting off everywhere. They were lighting from the fireballs that had struck ground. And then as, so as I looked up to the, to the, to the uh, west and the northwest and the, the southwest, I saw the moon turn to blood. My goodness. I saw the moon turn to blood. And wow, I'm just going to share this and upload. It's 343. That's 3-7. Um. And it's something that I will never, ever get out of my mind unless the Lord allows. 
the moon turning blood red. Because when we did have this first blood moon, I had no idea these were coming back then. Or, I mean, I was in sixth grade. To see that and to see the mountain on fire, to see people falling in through the crevices in, in, in the rocks uh, to their eternal punishment, to see me being kept safe, to see the, the fireballs raining down the earth quaking and the sky darkened, uh, I woke up. And I explained the dream to my mom, who was an evangelist. Um, and she told me she, that I'll never forget her words. She's no longer with us. She's in heaven. She said, son, you know everything you just mentioned is in the Bible? See, now in sixth grade, I know nothing about the Bible. My mom told me I was called. I didn't know what that meant either. She'd take me to church, but I sure didn't understand what they were talking about. I was in sixth grade, but I was absorbing it. And she showed me in the Bible where what I dreamed was actually written in the Bible. And I've been amazed ever since then. And how can someone remember a dream for 37 years unless it be from God? And then, now here's the interesting part. Well, it's all interesting and it's all going to happen. Is nine years ago in 2005, my wife and I moved out here to what's called Plumas Lake. Um right here where this pin is. Uh, we had lived down here in the Sacramento area, uh, right there, for roughly 24 years. And in 2005, right before the uh, real estate market uh, burst, the bubble, we had sold high here on a, a smaller home and moved out here where the crime was much lower and for various reasons, just kind of out here to a rural area in Plumas Lake. Everybody see that? About 6,000 people. And yet you can still pop down to Sacramento on a 30 minute drive. And, and we like it. But what the Lord revealed to me in 2007 as he began to show me things in my backyard. Now nobody on YouTube can deny that the Lord has not showed me extremely fascinating and miraculous things in this backyard. What he revealed to me was my dream that happened was going to occur while I lived in this house. Now that sounds crazy. It sure does. I agree with you that. But I believe it's going to occur while I'm in this house with all my heart. And the mountain that caught on fire is the Sutter Buttes up here. You know they have, they they used to house missile silos up here and those missile silos are still hidden in the Sutter Buttes. It's true. Yeah, it used to be an Air Force, uh, the Air Force used to this. Um, certain areas of it are still, um, you're not allowed to go there. I've had friends that have snuck up there and looked down the missile silos. Uh, apparently are empty now, but I've never went up there. But this is where the, uh, this right here is where that meteor hit. And it went burning down this way. And this way in all areas. And then I'm down here walking and I look over here towards the western sky area but uh, up higher and I see the moon turn to blood and I realize that that occurred while I was living in this house and we plan on getting out of here within two years so now when I look at this chart it gives me a whole new meaning that moons can really turn blood red I saw this first one, it was right over our house. I didn't make a video about it or, or you know, show pictures of it or anything, but I did go out and see it. And, I, and it was just like the one in my dream, except the one in my dream was more red against a totally black sky, just like this. Now, what do you think the Lord's trying to say in this to me, to be ready, to be prepared? I believe it's an amazing thing that he would show one person that dream 37 years ago and then have an angel come into his dream in 2012 and say 3-7 war. Remember that dream? And then have me be reminded today, June 4th, 2014, as I stare at this chart of the, the Tetrad of that dream I had in sixth grade of sinkholes and uh, fireballs and earthquakes and people perishing in hell that it happened while I live here 
just wanted to share this today. It's just another one of those things where it's a puzzle piece that surely all of these things are falling into place right before our very eyes. And I would not anyone to be ignorant. I want people's eyes and ears to be open to the truth. So please, please, please pray over this and ask the Lord, is it true? And ask the Lord what these four blood moons mean. And ask the Lord, is he returning? And ask the Lord if there'll be fireballs hitting mountains. And you ask Jesus, will there be earthquakes that cause uh, blackouts? And it, will it be during a blood moon? Will people uh, fall through sinkholes as the earth shakes? You ask the Lord that. He showed me it, but I want you to ask him. God bless you.